Edge has been a real cradle to grave development for me, from pulling together the initial plans to being involved in the planning and construction processes, and then looking forward to finding an occupier to make this their new home. Our developments are giant advertising boards for what we do, but they're also wayfinders for iron properties as a business. We are fully committed and invested to our sustainable future strategy, which not only looks to provide cleaner and greener buildings, but also looks to create legacy, provide local employment, and benefit the communities in which we work. EDGE is a 55,000 square foot B2, B8 industrial unit just located 2.5 miles from Junction 25 of the M25. The warehouse has three level access doors and two dock levelers with a 35 metre yard. To the front of the building, there's 26 car park spaces, including six EV chargers. There's also a secure undercover cycle shelter for 16 bikes. The previous site was occupied by a 1950s industrial unit which had no soft landscaping. The key element of the brief was to introduce soft landscaping in and around the building, including along Baird Road, which would then provide a nice amenity space for both the occupiers and also the users of Baird Road. So what sets Edge apart from its competition is that the enhanced fabric performance of the building is, is superb, it's excellent. It reduces all the heating, cooling and lighting demand at first principles, so it's passively excellent. And then beyond that, we've installed a solar generation PV installation of 127 kilowatt peak, which displaces it easily a third or even half of the electricity that would be normally imported. That will significantly reduce the running cost of the building by almost £30,000 a year for the occupier. This gives us an EPCA plus rating, which is deemed to be net zero ready in operation. So when a tenant arrives, it'd be quite straightforward for them to go further and offset the remaining operational energy that they consume, making the building fully net zero in operation. The process for Net Zero Ready is really initially setting up the whole life carbon model. So having a strategy for understanding where all the carbon emissions are in terms of embodied carbon and operational carbon. So first of all, setting the residual carbon position for both. Then through the construction process is making sure that we're leaner with materials that we're using in terms of embodied carbon, so there's less to offset. Then we use green standard offsets only to achieve net zero in construction. The building achieved an EPC rating of A+, which makes it an incredibly energy efficient building at the outset through enhancing the fabric performance, better U-values, better insulation. The building's incredibly low leakage in terms of air permeability, far exceeds building regulations. That's the starting position. Then by using energy efficient heat pumps, LED lighting, using daylight harvesting throughout the building to reduce artificial lighting throughout the winter months also helps. That ensures that we get a really solid position in terms of our energy efficiency rating. Then applying the renewables as the last resort in terms of decarbonising the building further ensures that we've achieved a better rating in terms of EPCA to EPCA+. Post-build, we've also tried to keep things local from hiring a local signage contractor to a local security firm. We've also recently had a very successful agents launch where we hire two local street food vendors. One was called Juicebox London, serving healthy smoothies, and the other was called Think. They're a social enterprise who donate all of their profits to mental health programmes. Every time I visit this site, I can't help but compare it to what was here before. We did have an asbestos roof and you couldn't really see through the roof lights. Now we've got a green roof over the offices, we've got PV panels and 15% roof lighting, which provides a really nice, bright environment. The only greenery you could see outside were weeds, and now we've got attractive, native landscaping which contributes towards a biodiversity net gain of almost 2,000 percent. It was an eyesore, now it's an eye catcher and going forward we'll be providing much needed employment for the area and more activity down Baird Road. These choices demonstrate Iron Property's commitment to people, planet and place.